Hi guys, Nick here from Intuitive Tennis. So when do we hit a closed stance forehand and when do we hit an open stance forehand? Check out today's video and find out. The open stance forehand is not a new concept. It's been around for a long time. You can check out some of the older matches on YouTube. For example, Borg against Vilas in 1978, French Open final. You can see that both Borg and Vilas uh, struck the majority of their forehands open stance. Even on the women's tour back then, uh, Martina Navratilova against Chris Severt, uh, one of their French Open finals also, you can find it on YouTube, 1985. Uh, majority of Chris Severt's forehands and Martina's forehands were stuck open stance. In modern tennis, the frequency of open stance forehands has increased dramatically to the point where uh, most of the forehands nowadays are being struck open stance. And the number one factor for this is the penetration of the incoming ball. So what do I mean by penetration of the ball? Let me give you some examples. So if somebody gives me, a, for example, a backhand slice, that ball has very little penetration. In other words, it's not going to come through the court very fast. So what must I do on a ball like that? I'm not going to go open stance because from this position, I can't really take my racket back. I can't turn properly. I'm going to step up to the ball. And I like using the turn as step up rather than stepping in because I'm stepping up in relation to the ball being short. On the other hand, a ball with a lot of penetration is a heavy spin ball or a hard flat shot that goes deep. And on those balls, it makes zero sense uh, to step into it or step up to that ball. We simply wait for that ball in an open stance position and we gain a little bit of that extra time and that's very desired in tennis. And this is the main reason why players nowadays mainly play open stance because uh, the pace of the game is uh, incredible. There's a lot of spin being produced. And so you can see on the courts of Wimbledon, uh, where the grass is used up, it's mostly behind the baseline. So how do you train? Do you train open stance or do you train close stance? Well, my suggestion for uh, players of any level, whether it's a beginner, intermediate player, uh, or advanced, is to not think of your stance at all. And I know that sounds scary, uh, but it's the right way to do it. Uh, when I play tennis, for example, often I'm unaware of what stance I use in a particular shot. I just go by what the stroke feels like. And if I'm in the wrong stance, trust me, it's going to feel terrible. And I'm going to know that I did it wrong and I'm going to try to correct it on the next shot. And let me give you a couple examples. Let's see, I get a ball with tons of penetration and I try to step in or step across like this. Now I'm going to be completely locked in because of this. Uh, the ball's coming fast, I'm going to meet it late and I'm not going to be able to rotate and it's going to feel terrible. As opposed to just being simply open stance and then gaining that extra time to hit the ball in front. And the same goes for a short ball. Let's say I'm trying to uh, run down a slice and I come to the ball like this, uh, this is not going to feel right. You don't even have to be aware uh, what foot you're stepping in. It's just simply going to feel wrong and you won't do it again. The next time uh, you're going to come at it uh, this way, it's going to feel a lot more natural. So I'm going to hit a few forehands and we're going to see which one is going to be open stance and which one's going to be closed stance. So this is definitely open stance. See the bounce of the ball? Ah! Open stance as well. This is closed stance and this is probably been, should have been closed. This is definitely closed stance and this is open and this is open as well and this is probably could have done closed on that one. Definitely closed stance there. So you just go by the ball. You look at the ball and you can determine what feels right. Yeah, one more. That's open stance. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.